everybody. D these are two items that we use in our home more daily. So what are these two items made out of? These two items are made out of glass. So what is glass made out of? It's made out of sand. So today we're going to learn how sand becomes into glass. To start with, we can start with what is sand. Sand is made out of tiny pieces of grains. The grains can be rounded or have, can have jagged edges. A grain of sand magnifying many times looks like this. It, 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 it has the jagged edges that, ha, that has been formed here. Where is sand found? Most of the grains are bits of rocks. Some are pieces left after coral animal dies. Sand is the most part of soil. Soil is made out of three things. Sand, the largest grain. Silt, the medium grain. Clay, the smallest grain. How rocks become sand. When oceans keep, when the bulldozers of the oceans keep hitting, and the oceans keep hitting together, the, the rocks get really, really small, so they become very small rocks, and they fall down and then they get hit and then they turn into sand. Rocks and minerals. Rocks are made of minerals like granite. It's a rock and it's made out of three minerals. Quartz, feldspar and mica. And I, I have a little sample of quartz here. This is the outside of a quartz and the inside looks very pretty with crystals. And silica. Silica. The sand used to create glass is mostly silica. Silica is actually made out of, quartz is actually made out of silica. Glass has 70% of silica. Procedure for making glass. Sand is added to furnace. It melts at 1,700 degrees. Celsius. That's actually 10 times more hotter than what we cook with. Soda ash is added to bring the melting point down. It goes to 1,500 degrees Celsius. Limestone is added to make it very strong so it doesn't fall apart. So first, in the furnace, we add the sand. This, and then we add the limestone to make it strong. And then we add the soda ash to bring down the melting point. Next, we add the oil for our fuel. And the tank, and the tank furnace is at 1,500 degrees Celsius. Then it becomes a molten material in this little tube. And then we put go to the cooling area, so it cools down, and this and we make the soda glass, and then it turns into a molten tin. So, so and then, and then we make the mold. It's the down there. It looks like a mold. So and then we made our window panel. Now let's talk a little bit of light bulbs. So, soda glass cracks when it heats. So we need something to, to be, make it be heat resistant. That means it doesn't crack when, when we put it in heat. So we, hence we added borax, so it doesn't crack when we turn on our light. So how are light bulbs made? Out, made? First, we have a gob and we add some of the molten material that we take from this little tube here. And then we put it at the end of our thing and then the other end we start blowing. So, and then it becomes into a big, big ball and then we can shape it with our hand or we can just twist it like this. We, can, we can't shape it with our hand. It will be very, very hot, so it will burn our hand. So we twist it with the gob. 
So that's how we make light bulbs. And this is how we're gonna make, and we're gonna talk about mirrors now. So this is how we make a mirror. So first we take a piece of glass, more like the window panel that we made right here. And then we attach silver, we color silver on the back of the glass. So we can make the light bounce onto the glass and bounce back on us. So it, our, our, our reflection will go on the glass so we can see ourselves. And at last we talk about recycling. As a lot of energy is needed to make all the steps in the to make glass, we we want to recycle stuff so we can just put the recycled glass into the tank furnace so we don't need to add all these this three limestone sand and soda ash so please recycle to make this place a better place to live and thank you